Welcome to AV's Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions in Windows 10 and on Elementary OS Freya Beta 1. First things first, you need to start up VirtualBox. As you notice here, it's in my recently used applications. Uh, you may have to search VirtualBox. Just search VirtualBox, it should come right up. We're going to install it on Windows 10 first, and then we'll do Elementary OS afterwards. The instructions for Windows 10 should apply to both Windows 10, Windows 7, and Windows 8, but I haven't tested Windows 7 or 8. And similarly, the instructions for elementary OS should apply for any other Debian-based distro, such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and of course Debian, because elementary OS, being based off Ubuntu, is, is in turn based off Debian. So I'll go ahead and start up Windows 10. Okay, now that you're logged in, go ahead and click on Devices, and then Insert Guest Edition C Image. Give it a second to recognize, let Windows recognize the CD. If it doesn't come up, then you're going to have to go to Explore, and manually open it, then on This PC, and double-click on VirtualBox Guest Editions. Then you're going to want to click on VBox Windows Editions, the executable. You can also do the architecture-specific version, AMD64 or x86, but go ahead with the generic one. It'll automatically detect whatever architecture your CPU is. Just click Yes. So you're going to click Next. Leave the default install location. doesn't matter. You can change it if you want. These aren't changeable, so you don't have to worry about that. Just click Install and it will begin extracting the various files and DLLs and stuff you need and executing the installer. Don't worry about it going black. That's normal. It's just installing the video drivers. Give it a second to finish. And now that it's done, you'll notice two options are reboot now or I want to reboot manually later. Just leave it at reboot now and click finish. Unless you have something else up. Leave it on the default option and click Finish. Once you get back to the login screen, go ahead and obviously log in. And you'll notice that the resolution really hasn't increased much at all. And you can't go full screen uh, like you should. Somewhat of a bug I've seen with the latest Windows 10 technical preview, build 9926. Guest Editions doesn't seem to have an effect on it. However, these instructions will apply to the older builds and any future builds, and should also apply for Windows 10 or Windows 8. That's all for Windows 10. You can go down to the Start menu and click Shut Down. Next, we're going to install to Elementary OS for you. Boot it up. Like I said, this should apply to any Debian-based distro, elementary OS, Ubuntu, Debian proper. These instructions should work for all of those. Now you'll notice my resolution's a little bit bigger than you probably have. That's because I've already installed these, but the instructions still work. Don't worry. Now, this happens occasionally. You can't actually click the menus. So what you're going to want to do is push the right control button, plus D. Don't worry about this error on my screen. I've already inserted it, so it's complaining. You probably won't have this. If it does come up, just click Cancel. Guest Edition CD is already inserted. You're fine. You go ahead and click on Applications, then Files. And this is going to vary between distros. Ubuntu is going to have a different file manager, as will Mint or Debian. won't look exactly the same, but... Basically, what you're going to want to do is go over here to Devices, and then click on the VBox Editions CD. Looks like a CD. Then you're going to want to search Terminal. Click on Terminal. And you're going to want to go ahead and type in CD forward slash media. And hit Tab, and it will automatically tab in your user. As you can see, my user is Avis. Automatically tabbed in Avis. So... 
from there you're going to want to hit tab again and it should if you mounted the CD image correctly should mount the VBox Editions CD as you can see on the screen now so then you go ahead and hit enter and it will change directory type ls you know make sure it looks similar to this it might look a little bit different depending on the OS and version of the guest editions you have. But to install, what you're going to want to do is type in sudo dot forward slash vbox capital V capital B capital L and hit tab and it will tab in vbox linux editions dot run. Hit enter, put in your password. It will uncompress the installer, uh, remove any previous versions that are installed, and then copy all the modules that you need. Build any kernel modules that aren't already built. The install time will vary between distros and power of your computer. So give it a little while and we'll be right back when it finishes. Okay, now that it's done installing, you'll notice that it says we need to restart the HAL service and the Windows system, or just restart the guest system. We'll just restart the entire virtual machine. So then close the terminal. We're here to shut down. Yet again, this is going to be distro dependent what method works for your distro and if we go full screen you'll notice that the login screen is full screen uh, if you're wondering how I went full screen it's right control plus F but as you can see now we're using our entire monitor so that's it for elementary OS you can go ahead and shut down and that's it for the tutorial like I said, the Windows 10 instructions will apply for, or at least should, apply for 7, 8, and 10. And the elementary OS instruction should apply to any Debian-based distro, be it elementary OS, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or straight Debian. On the screen now, you can see some of the various features that guest editions allow. Mouse pointer integration, shared folders, better video support, 3D and 2D graphics acceleration, as well as uh, larger resolutions, seamless windows, time synchronization, shared clipboard. I'll put a link in the description to this page. You can read about the guest editions for yourself. But that's all for this tutorial. Go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about this tutorial. And if you feel so inclined, please leave a like, that's always appreciated. Thanks for watching, this has been Hades Tech.